What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. You can see behind me, we got outer layers hanging. This is everything myself and my girlfriend will be wearing in Kentucky. And we ain't about them ticks, so I'm showing you real quick just how I apply this, how I get the best results, and how I keep it off my skin. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is one of my favorite products on the market. I don't care if it's a, t I mean, all things outdoors. Because the ability to keep ticks off you, especially in Kentucky, southern states, and actually increasingly bad here in New York, the ability to spray something, treat your clothes quick, effectively, and have a true repellent towards ticks is absolutely huge. I mean, I don't mess around with ticks. It's uh, becoming a bigger and bigger problem here in New York, like I said, and in Kentucky, it's extremely bad. So we started using this Sawyer insect repellent. You spray it once. Now I don't wash my turkey clothes. So you spray it once and you're pretty much good for, I think it's 42 days. They say it lasts a minimum of 42 days. Now, one thing I will say, you don't want to get this on you. So when you hang your gear up, just use spray your outers like let me jump behind the camera here and you can see here what i'm spraying is a quarter zip for my girlfriend if it's cold my nomad leafy pants my north mountain gear green leaf outer and then the quick camo bottom lands for my girlfriend and then my old treason pants for my girlfriend so you can see here, we don't have gloves, we don't have a hat, we don't have any of that stuff. Our quick camo masks, our waterproofing gear, that's all still in the tote. Now after I treat this and I let it dry for a minimum of two hours, as I'll go over in a minute, I'll put it back in the tote. Uh, I do not spray, you know, the hats, our quick camo masks, I don't spray any of that, anything that's going to have direct contact with your skin. You just need this spray on your outers it will do the job keep it off your skin now to use this it's really easy i mean this is i just got it off amazon it's cheap i bought two two things of it now the main thing is don't spray it into the wind you don't pee in the wind don't spray promethean into the wind the ingredient is promethean i know i'm probably saying that wrong but Guys, do not spray like the wind right now is blowing from the camera to me. That's why I have this this way. So I can spray the outside of all of this and uh, from here to be safe. So it's really simple. The wind's blowing this way now. So I'm going to stand over here and I'm just going to give a good spray all the way this side of the clothes. And I really focus on the torso and on the arms, especially the hands, because I don't spray my gloves. I want this to be heavy on those points. You can see how I have this folded over and I've sprayed around it. Now, the reason why is I try to not spray the inside. So I don't want something that's gonna rest on your neck or anything like that. Uh, I just spray the outside of all this and that's pretty much it. Once I spray all this, I do it really heavy. Um, I go probably overboard, but I'll spray the front. I'll spray the back when the wind stops, but I'll get all the fronts sprayed. I'll get pretty much pretty caked on. I'm not, like I said, I'm not uh, afraid to liberally disperse this. It's the only time the word liberal is a good thing. Now we'll go down, throw that cap off. So you can see the wind's not bad right now. So we're gonna take advantage of that. And like I said, I, I really focus on the bottoms. I'm trying to self film this. I really focus on the bottoms. That's pretty dang good. So the quick camo, this is gonna be a, a pure outer layer for her. So I'm gonna go a little bit heavier than I would because it's not gonna be anywhere near her. She's gonna have my treason on underneath. I go extremely liberal on applying this. 
you could probably do a lot less. Um, the way I look at it, the more I spray onto that, the better. That's why I don't put it on any of my in under layers. I focus on my outer layers. It's one of the main reasons why I like the leafy suits. You can spray through them, protect it, and then put it over your other layers. And then you don't have that permission on you, but you still have that protection. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys do to treat your camo, especially for turkey season. Uh, it applies in deer season and everywhere as well, but let's just focus for turkey. Do you use Sawyer products? Do you have another method? Do you make some homemade remedy? Let me know. Drop a comment below. I just want to do a quick video of why we like Sawyer, how we do it. Now all I got left to do is I'm going to go and spray a little bit more throughout it and then start my timer. And in three hours, they should be good to go. I know it takes about two, but I spray them pretty bad. So I like it. We got a sunny day for once in New York. We'll let that sit for three and a half hours, three, three and a half hours. It'll be totally dry and perfect, ready for Kentucky, West Virginia, and New York. So guys, if you're not protecting yourself against ticks, I strongly urge you to do so. This, this right here, this Promethean from Sawyer, it also helps repel mosquitoes, gnats, bugs, all that good stuff, the black flies, you know, everything you know and hate as a turkey hunter or an outdoorsman in general. Drop a comment below, let me know if you've used this, how you do it, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna finish this stuff up and then uh, I'm gonna shower because I just got home from work. I got a couple little things to pack and that's about it. So this is just our video real quick going over the Sawyer insect repellent. This is the Sawyer premium insect repellent, clothing gear intense, trigger spray, it's odorless Promethean. And guys, this is a, a no brainer. I buy two of these a year and I spray down absolutely everything. I don't mess around when it comes to ticks. They're, they can really wreak havoc. You could also lose your life. So I just know too many people, they got really messed up from Lyme disease and all the other diseases that ticks carry. This is one thing, an outdoorsman, I don't care if you're camper, hiker, anything, you should have this, you should use this. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. I want to keep this kind of short. It's longer than it needs to be already. So without further ado, smash thumbs up button for boys. Drop your comments. Let me know what you use to protect yourself from ticks, etc. I'm curious to see all the home remedies, what works for you, all the good stuff. And if you're not doing anything, I strongly recommend spraying your gear before season. Let it dry in just outside. Don't spray this inside. Let it dry. And guys, if you're not protecting against ticks, you really should consider it. I didn't up until two years ago, and I wish I would have started a lot sooner. It's just dumb of me not to. I got a little bit more work to do. I got a shower. I smell. Machine shops ain't fun when it gets warmer out. But Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, we'll catch you on the next one.